Welcome back to Dan Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Unhinged, released in the year 2020. The movie begins on a rainy day. We see a man named Tom Cooper sitting in his truck outside his ex-wife's house at 4 a.m. He takes some pills and removes his wedding ring before he exits his truck and heads towards the house, carrying a mallet and a fuel can. Cooper breaks down the door and brutally murders his ex-wife and her new husband. He then pours the fuel all around the house and sets it on fire. Cooper then heads back to his truck and leaves as the house explodes. Next we meet Rachel, a newly divorced woman who is woken up by a call from her lawyer, Andy. Andy notifies Rachel that her ex-husband has filed a motion to seize the house, so she sets a lunchtime meeting to discuss the matter further. Rachel notices that her alarm didn't go off as she forgot to set it. Immediately her son Kyle appears ready for school and is disappointed to see his mom is not yet ready. In the dining room, Rachel's brother Fred is FaceTiming their mom who's in an assisted living facility. She seems to complain about her living situation but Fred can't hear her as her microphone is muted, forcing him to end the call. On the news, there's a report about the brutal murder we witnessed at the beginning of the film with several details being revealed about the suspect, including his gray truck. Fred's fiance Mary is also awake and joins them for breakfast. Rachel explains that she had to move their mom to the facility because she kept getting lost in her neighborhood. Fred also admits to getting lost there before since the streets are connected in a complicated manner. Rachel is finally ready and leaves the house with Kyle for school. On their way out, they greet their neighbor Rosie, who just got a new minivan. They leave for school but hit traffic shortly afterward. Rosie says taking the freeway is a better option, but Kyle is against it as they are always late when they take it. Rosie then hands Kyle her phone to check on the traffic status. Kyle finds the phone password free which he thinks is a bit risky. He finds a way that is clear and on Kyle's suggestion, Rosie uses it and it speeds up their journey. While on the road, Kyle's dad calls and cancels his activities with Kyle as his schedule is tight but assures him they will hang out soon. Not long after, Rachel receives a call from her most important client, Deborah, who fires her over the phone for being late. Later, they stop behind a truck that remains even after the light turns green. Annoyed by this, Rachel honks continuously but the truck doesn't move. Soon after, the light turns yellow, forcing her to pass the truck as she continues honking. Traffic hits once more, and as they stop, the same truck pulls up next to them. In the truck is Cooper, who greets them and asks Rachel the reason she didn't do a courtesy tap before honking as she did. Angry, Rachel shouts that he didn't move when the light turned red. Cooper apologizes, but also asks her to apologize for her rude reaction but Rachel says she has nothing to apologize for. Cooper is furious and goes on a rant about how people no longer apologize for their wrongdoings. He then promises to show her what a bad day looks like which would make her learn to apologize. This terrifies them and Kyle and Rachel drive off but Cooper tails them and overtakes them. He then breaks abruptly and Rachel almost crashes into his truck. She then takes a left turn and Cooper seems to let it go as he leaves them. They finally get to school and Kyle asks Rachel to please pick him up on time. Rachel then calls Andy asking him to meet her in 20 minutes at Darrow's restaurant. Later, Rachel stops to get gas but forgets her phone in the car while she goes shopping inside. However, she is shocked when she spots Cooper's truck behind her car. The cashier offers to call the police while another customer offers to walk her outside since calling the police would most likely offend him further. The guy offers to escort her to her car and she safely leaves as Cooper remains and stares at them with hate. As soon as Rachel leaves, Cooper hits the guy who helped her with his truck and he falls on the road where he is hit by a speeding car. This terrifies Rachel, prompting her to speed off. She searches for her phone but it appears to be missing. A traffic jam hits again, forcing her to stop and Cooper catches up with her. 
Cooper taunts her by continuously hitting her car from behind. Rachel tries to get the attention of a lady in a nearby car, but she doesn't seem to notice. Not long after, the traffic clears up and the chase continues. Cooper overtakes her and waves at her using her own phone, which he picked while she was shopping. She then quickly turns into a parking lot, still terrified about the exchange. In the next scene, we meet Andy, who is patiently waiting for Rachel at Darrow's. Meanwhile, Cooper turns up, introducing himself as Rachel's friend. After a lengthy conversation, he offers to call Rachel for him. It is revealed that Cooper swapped their phones at the gas station and uses Andy's phone to call his phone, which rings in Rachel's car. Rachel picks it up and talks to Andy, who tells her that he is with her friend, Tom Cooper. But before she can warn him, Cooper grabs the phone from Andy. He then repeats that he wants to teach her to apologize and to show her what a bad day really looks like. Rachel says she is sorry, but he doesn't accept it, saying she has to be sincere and she doesn't mean it. Cooper then hits Andy in the face with a coffee mug, breaking his nose, which terrifies the people in the restaurant, but Cooper doesn't care. He hates divorce lawyers, who he accuses of destroying decent people's lives and taking advantage of their clients. He adds that divorce lawyers don't get in trouble for taking advantage of other people. Despite being recorded, Cooper repeatedly punches Andy in the face before stabbing him with a table knife. He then tells Rachel that Andy is dead and he hangs up the call, leaving the restaurant in his truck. While on the road, Cooper calls Rachel and asks her to pick which person should die next, adding that if she fails to pick a name, he will go after Kyle or her mom. She asks him to kill her, but he declines, saying the point of this whole experience is for her to learn to say sorry. Left with no choice, she picks Deborah, who had fired her earlier. However, she calls 911 to report the case and have Deborah move before he can get to her. Back at home, Fred is watching the news about Cooper and calls Mary to have a look. However, when she doesn't respond, he goes to check on her. He spots Cooper's truck parked outside and picks up a knife as he slowly heads to the room. He finds Cooper holding Mary, who is severely injured. Fred begs him not to harm her, but Cooper throws Mary at him, and as Fred is still holding the knife, Mary is accidentally stabbed. Meanwhile, Rachel arrives at the school to pick up Kyle, but receives a call from Cooper. He is tracking her and asks her to take Kyle and drive as far away as she can, and if she fails to do it, he will kill Fred. Rachel fetches Kyle and they leave quickly. Luckily, a police officer arrives at Rachel's home to save Fred. Cooper immediately sets Fred on fire, while the police officer manages to shoot Cooper in the shoulder as he escapes. Later, Rachel receives a call from Cooper, telling her that Fred is dead. He further adds that Kyle is next on the list. This time, she is more confident and smashes the phone. They get back in their car and decide to go to the police station for help. In the car, Kyle asks Rachel to use her tablet to call his dad, but Rachel thinks Cooper took it too. Kyle thinks Cooper might be using the tablet to track them. And after a brief search, Kyle finds the tablet taped under her seat. Using the Find My Device app, he tracks Rachel's phone and discovers it's right next to them, but they can't see his truck. Then, Rachel spots Rosie's minivan ahead and realizes that Cooper must be the one driving it. They then spot a police car ahead and Rachel overtakes the minivan to try and reach it. They try to get his attention, but Cooper hits his car from behind, causing him to lose control when a huge truck crashes into him causing a multi-vehicle crash. Rachel asks Kyle to call 911, but they are unable to help them as they are already attending to the accident, leaving them on their own. Rachel comes up with a plan to head to her mom's old neighborhood where they might stand a chance of losing him. She arrives there and takes a sharp right turn, forcing Cooper to stop to turn. This gives her a chance to lose him and she proceeds to her mom's house. Cooper carefully surveys the area as he drives slowly trying to find them. 
They finally get home and Kyle rushes into the house and sets a silent alarm as he goes upstairs. Kyle then climbs through a secret door in the wardrobe to hide. Back in the car, Rachel searches for the scissors she had picked up earlier at her house. Cooper spots her car, but stops to take some more pills. Rachel approaches his truck with another car and rams into him. Cooper suddenly appears behind her, hits her, and heads into the house to find Kyle. He enters the house pretending to be a cop, asking Kyle to come out, but Kyle remains silent. He then stumbles on some metal, which alerts Cooper to his location. His mom immediately appears in his hideout, but is dragged by Cooper, who hits her once more. He goes for Kyle, but Rachel gets up again and attacks him. But he overpowers her and hits her, leaving her on the bed seriously injured. He then picks up Kyle and begins strangling him with a wire. Rachel finally finds her scissors and uses them to stab him in the eye. But somehow, Cooper is still alive, so she kicks it deep into the head, finishing him off. In the next scene, the police arrive and have good news about Fred, who is revealed to be still alive after surviving the incident. The movie ends as they both head out to see Fred. On their way, a car almost hits them, but this time, she makes a decision not to react, which Kyle agrees is a good choice. That was all from the video. Subscribe for more content like this and leave a like to help the channel out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Take care!